State University Press. I'm Kathy Wildfung, the director, and I'm going to show you around and introduce you to some of our staff and what we do here. Um, a couple of things about us. First, we are a not-for-profit pub publisher. Uh, we've been on campus since 1941. Um, we are one of three university presses in the state of Michigan and are an auxiliary unit at Wayne State University. Uh, we publish between um, 35 and 40 books a year, uh, a mix of scholarly books and uh, in the humanities and social sciences and uh, regional trade titles. And we also publish 11 journals. Um, I'm going to kind of walk around uh, following the path of uh, manuscript takes and becoming a book. So we're going to start with our editor-in-chief, Annie Martin. Hi, Hi Annie. Annie. What's happening? Nothing. I'm just reading the new manuscript by Charlie Burns. She's an up-and-coming uh -huh. professor who, who's kind of writing on a, a, a gender look at movies today, so, uh, so from a feminist perspective. So it should be pretty good. Um, Hi everybody. Uh, yep. So the whole point is of uh, acquisitions is to acquire the books that we are putting forth in the press. So what our whole list look lo looks like that starts here in acquisitions. So we are the initial person who solicits and get those and gets those manuscripts in and evaluates them. We send them out for peer review process, which we send them out to peer readers to take a look at. And then in the end, if they're favorable, we take it to our editorial board. So it's a pretty varied uh, job. job. Yeah, it is very varied. But speaking of the editorial board, Kathy, <laughs> I know you're walking around. Will you take yes. this to EDP? I will do that. It's um, just got approved. It's Kim Hunter's The Official Report on Human Activity uh, for the Made in Michigan so Writer Series. That's great. Spring, summer 2018. Be on the lookout for it. Excellent. So once a project is approved by our editorial board, we launch it into editorial design and production. So I'm going to walk this over and introduce you to our senior production editor, Carrie Keefe, and senior designer, Rachel Ross. Hey, Kathy. Hey guys. Hi. Here's a new project Yay. for you. Cool. Um, this one we've been waiting for. So at this point, um, editorial design and production will take over. and. We'll contact the author, give them this production schedule over the next several months, um, and then this is the time when we're going to start talking about cost and trim size, materials, and put this into copy editing. So um, we're looking at something else right now, though. Right. So once we are done with the the manuscript and all the copy mm -hmm. editing, that's when I can start designing uh, the interior. So here's an example of a layout. Um, where I'm going through and placing images with the text um, and just typesetting the whole interior um, and finalizing materials to use, uh, different paper qualities, and uh, that's, that's it. It looks yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And, um, and then once all this is done too, then we'll get things ready for the printer. And um, we actually have an advance here for a different book, um, mm -hmm. but Rachel and I were just taking a look at this one. And, um, mm -hmm. Once we decide it's it's good to go, we'll be able to order copies, and uh, those will come to our warehouse. Yeah. So we're gonna head over to the warehouse uh, and see what's what's happening there, what's come in. Um, we work with a number of Michigan, largely Michigan printers, um, but we also are working with some uh, new ways, innovative ways to make our books available in print. Um, all our new books and a large portion of our older titles are also available as ebooks. We have an on site warehouse, uh, which is pretty unusual for university presses uh, in this day and age, but we love having that because uh, we publish so many regional books. Um, it makes it easier to. Uh, Having the books here makes it easier for events, for um, walk-in sales, uh, that kind of thing, author signings. So let's see who's around in the warehouse. Hi, Hi. Hi guys. So we have 
have Teresa Martinelli, our order fulfillment manager, Hi. and Emily Nowak, our um, sales and marketing uh, manager. Hi. Hey, what's, what's new? We are looking at copies of Brewed in Michigan, which just came into the warehouse. Uh, we're very excited to see these. Uh, these copies will go out to media and to accounts in the coming week, uh, and we're very excited about our big launch event for the book, which is happening Thursday, October 12th at the Detroit Beer Company. You can find all of the information about the launch event and this book on our website. And I'm back here because I just received an order for three copies of Know the Mother and the person's up front, so they're here to pick it up, and if Emily would take that up, I would Thanks, appreciate Teresa. it. I will do that. Great. I'll walk with you, Emily. And uh, while we're walking, maybe you can talk a little bit more about what happens in marketing and what, what you do specifically. Absolutely. Amazon and Barnes and Noble and make sure that um, all the book information and data is listing where it needs to be in the places that it needs to be. So I'm always excited about that. Okay. Hey, this is Jamie manager. I uh, just got some new seals in for the Michigan Noble book, which Know the Mother won this year. Fantastic. Very excited about. So I'm going to slap those on the cover. I will. Thank you so much. Cool. Um, and just to let our audience know, you can follow us on social media to find out about all sorts of news like award announcements, special sales, and all of our monthly events. Thank you so much. Thanks, Jamie. Thanks. We're going to head back um, up front, and I believe we have a customer waiting for these books, and our support specialist, Anna Brooks, is taking care of the transition, yeah. transaction. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, Janice. Here's uh, Julie Warheit, um, who handles our marketing and sales for journals. What's going on with you? Not yeah. too much. So as Kathy mentioned, we publish 11 journals a year, and they cover a little everything from anthropological genetics to fairy tales to film. And part of my job is to get the word out about our journals by attending conferences where we meet with our editors and talk to scholars in related fields. We also partner with the library here at Wayne State to make our journals available online through Digital Commons, our institutional repository. Great. Thanks, Julie. So you can visit us here uh, right on campus on Woodward. Uh, between uh, Warren and Hancock, right down from the uh, Warren Avenue queue line stop. And um, we love visitors, so feel free. Um, and you can purchase our books online in bookstores from us um, directly from our website or right here at the press. Uh, so that's a tour, a little short tour of uh, Wayne State University Press. Thanks a lot for visiting us.